This is the time of year that many of our favorite candle companies decide to give us a sneak peek. And Yankee Candle on December 26th released five candles, their spring preview. However, I have 10 fragrances that are scheduled for the 2018 first quarter. I will be separating this video into several segments. Are you ready? Let's do it. Next on the list, I can smell it. I can smell it, of course I can smell it from here. This is insanely powerful. Life is a breeze. Life is a breeze. I like that name. It's, it doesn't sound like a Yankee Candle name. The color, also a nice touch. Let's, uh, let's sniff. I love these nautical maritime fragrances because they're not literal expressions aromatically. They're poetic expressions. The artist has to take the feelings, the emotions inside and translate what an experience of being at the sea or being on the ocean sailing in this boat that we see on the label. There's a lot of uh, poetry involved in these kinds of creations or what I call fantasy candles. So I have to say this from the very beginning, this is a men's cologne driven candle. There's just, there's no question about it. This is a masculine cologne, very familiar aromatic profile when it comes to men's colognes. And there's a lot going on here. So let's systematically break it down one step at a time. So let me list off some keywords. This is usually how I tackle an aroma like this. Life is a breeze. So breeze, coastal breeze, sea breeze, uh, ocean breeze, uh, coastal winds at sea, on the beach. Whenever you see a, a fragrance that's called fresh air, clean air, summer air, summer breeze. 99% of the time, the fragrance industry uses two contrasting elements to create this aroma, citrus and florals. Of course, sea breeze has an aroma, but the language of the fragrance industry, that is what they use to portray that experience, citrus and uh, florals. And this is certainly no exception. As far as citrus, we're getting a lemon lime, but definitely bergamot. Florals of lavender, jasmine, geranium, and neroli. Now, neroli is the interesting one because uh, it's a really orange blossom. The oil is just made through a different process. However, if you've ever smelled neroli oil before, it has this salty saline brine-like quality, which is certainly going to work for a maritime fragrance. And we have to talk about herbal notes, herbaceousness, especially when we're talking about cologne-driven fragrances. We're getting sage, basil, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is an important one because it gives us this sense of coolness, being on the boat, feeling the wind on our face. But we're also getting things like oak moss and juniper berry. And juniper berry is going to frame several of the pine elements in this candle really nicely. Um, uh, like cedar and camphor and frankincense. And let me throw in lemon verbena as well. Definitely some peppercorn. So we do have spice, but really nothing else. Um, Maybe a mild clove. It's probably not even worth mentioning, but definitely the peppercorn. Base notes of cedar, sandalwood. Sandalwood's important. Again, it just fits into the aquatic maritime theme, smelling that sandalwood. Uh, that wood is going to remind us of, make us feel like we're in that boat, we're in that uh, sailboat, we're in that ship. The citrus, the florals are going to make us think of the fresh ocean breeze, but it's also going to make us think of fresh linen, like the sail of the boat. And let's say the cologne of the, who's ever steering the boat. And I would be amiss to neglect 
the saltiness of this this candle. I, it does have a salty brininess. Maybe it's because of that Neroli. Maybe there's something else contributing to that, but I really do want to point that out um, because it's not common. There really is a, a sea-like, again, saline salt water aroma here. And we have to throw in musk. Now, this isn't the floral, flowery, pretty musk before. We're talking about the, the brawny man musk now. We're talking about the manly... A fragrance industry description of manly or masculine muskiness. In my humble opinion, I think this is done really well. Life is a breeze. This is a sea voyage. You know, you're standing at the helm of the ship, wind at your back. This is a poetic experience. This is not a literal experience, like we said before. Definitely a masculine cologne profile and uh, let's talk about maybe that ship that sailboat on there i wonder if yankee candle is trying to implant a thought an idea into our head with that sailboat what other masculine fragrance do we associate with a sailboat old spice a little bit a little bit and there are no Yankee Candle notes, fragrance notes, or description for this candle at this date. If uh, you come across them and you would like to share them, please list them in the comments below. For now, let us move on. Let's continue. Yes, I really was hoping that I would have the actual candle for this fragrance by the time I did this evaluation, but I did come across a scent plug refill, so I'm going to do my best to share my thoughts and opinions on this fragrance in this form. When I do get the candles in my hand, I will be sure to give my full analysis. This fragrance is called color me happy color me happy and from what i can see on the label it's very small on this i am seeing a lot of flowers lots of florals all different colors so let me do the best i can to break this down by sniffing this out of the bottle i don't even know how these work So surprisingly, I'm smelling it a whole lot more than I thought I was going to. Okay, so whether this is a big fruit bowl, fruit punch candle or fragrance, or there's certain notes that I'm not picking up because everything I'm smelling is all over the board as far as kinds and types of fruits. I'm smelling uh, like Bartlett pear, I'm smelling mango, kiwi, some melon notes, strawberry, pineapple. And to say that I do not smell flowers would not be an understatement. I do not smell any florals here. I tried rubbing some on this index card like they do in uh, the perfume shops not really working so uh like i said uh unless there's notes i'm not picking up on which is completely and totally possible uh, to me this is a massive fruit collision fruit cup fruit punch fruit bowl whatever we want to call it i'm smelling all different kinds of fruits even like maraschino cherry yeah so like the the, the most fresh fruit cup you've ever had in your life, which is very odd because on the label, all we see are those multicolored, very uh, saturated, very vibrant, vivid flowers. It smells very Polynesian to me. Maybe that's what's going on with the flowers. You know, again, the association with the tropical fruits, tropical cocktails. But I will revisit this candle at the appropriate time, that being when I have it in my hands. But color me happy. Uh, look out for that. Don't know when that's going to be released either. And that is going to do it. 
Uh, I can't believe I got through all of these with one thermos of coffee. There is one more fragrance, because if you add all of these up, I only really talked about nine. The tenth is a fragrance that I unfortunately do not have in my hand, but it is on the lineup. It's called Wildflower Blossoms. And as soon as I get my hands on that candle, I'll be sure to share that one with you as well. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me on this massively large evaluation today. I hope just a little bit I got you excited for the spring preview and the spring fragrances that are going to be coming out uh, this quarter of the year. Please, I love to hear from you guys. Any comments, please list them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, only if you liked it though. And if you haven't subscribed, just do it. Do it. Subscribe. Hit that button. Tons of Yankee Candle and other candle related videos coming up in the near future, plus tons of aromatic adventures. You heard me correct, aromatic adventures. For today, that is going to be it. I am done for today. I'm going to go make another cup of coffee, but I will be seeing you guys soon. But until then, be good, will you? There's always a silver lining. A positive thing to think about is that it's a brand new year, 2018, which also means that another Halloween, another Halloween, where Halloween?